Hi again, we're going to talk today about solving quadratic equations. Just briefly, I'm going to let you guys, uh, I won't go over factoring, there's a lot of material there, but I've posted some resources for you on the internet. So the first way that we'll talk on the blackboard shell, if the first thing we'll talk about is solving by factoring. And when you solve by factoring, you use the zero product property. which says that if a times b equals zero, sorry, I'm gonna stray mark. If a times b equals zero, then a equals zero or b equals zero. So an example of using that is to solve quadratics is we have the equation x squared minus two x minus 8 is equal to 0. I can factor this left side as x minus 4 and x plus 2. Now right here is the multiplication and this is playing my role of a and b and I have two things multiplied together that are equal to 0. So if you remember you split these and you get x minus 4 equals 0 and x plus 2 equals 0. So I get x is equal to 4 and x is equal to negative 2 as my solutions. Using the quadratic formula, if I have a quadratic equation and all quadratic equations can be written like this then the solutions to this are given by negative b, x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So, x squared plus 1 is equal to 4x. So the first thing that I need to do is get this into this ax squared plus bx plus c. I have my x squared and c over here, and I need to move the 4x over. So I subtract 4x from both sides, and I get x squared minus 4x plus 1. So my a is the coefficient here, which is a hidden 1. b is the coefficient in front of the 4x, so it's minus 4 for the coefficient for b, and c should be the number 1. So I have a is equal to 1, b equals negative 4, and c is equal to 1 here. So let me go to the next page. I really want to use this in the quadratic formula. x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So I'm going to put in these values. Um, b was negative 4, so I have negative, negative 4 here, plus or minus the square root, negative 4 squared minus 4 times a, which was 1, times c, which was 1, all over 2 times 1, because that was my a. Simplify negative negative 4 is 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 4 over 2. And x is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 12 over 2. 12 is 4 times 3. So that will simplify. I want to come over here and get a little bit more space x is equal to 4 plus or minus 2 square roots of 3 over 2. Since I have a 4 and a 2 in the numerator and a 2 in the denominator, that will factor out. So I get 2 factored out of here as a greatest common factor. And then you can cancel. So in this problem, the final answer should be x is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 3. So I want to talk 
about one more method, the square root method. And the square root method is based on the square root property, which it says that if a squared equals b, then a is equal to plus or minus the square root of b. One of those two things is true. So an example of this, solve x squared is equal to 32. x squared is equal to x 32, so x is equal to either plus or minus the square root of 32. Uh, then the square root of 32 simplifies to be 16 and 2, and x should be plus or minus 4 times the square root of 2 as the solution to this. Now, I mean it's a solution that if I plug this back into the original equation, it will actually solve the equation and make it true. Let's do one more example. Example. Solve. 3y plus 7 squared equals 1. So here in this problem, I still have the same setup. I have this thing squared is equal to 1. 3y plus 7 is the quantity that's totally squared is equal to 1. And so I can solve this by taking the square root of both sides. 3y plus 7 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1. That's The square root of 1 is just 1. So I get something like this. And here you can either split it or continue. You would still have to solve for y. So I subtract 7 from both sides and get negative 7 plus or minus 1, and then divide everything by 3. This is really two solutions. y is equal to negative 7 plus 1 over 3, and y is equal to negative 7 minus 1 over 3. Negative 7 plus 1 is negative 6. So I get negative 2, and here it's negative 8 over 3. So my two solutions, negative 2, negative 8 thirds. So those are two examples using the square root problem method. Um, if you have any other questions about solving quadratics, please let me know.